Here's a simplified model of a nuclear reactor. You start it off by introducing a neutron source, which starts the chain reaction, as a neutron from one fission causes the next one. We've shown the nuclei reforming after they fission, which obviously they don't do, but it keeps the simulation tidy. Just imagine that each time they reform, we're focusing on a different nucleus. We've also simplified it by not showing the moderator. After a while, we can remove the neutron source. And the reaction sustains itself because each fission releases neutrons that cause, on average, exactly one other fission. When this balance is reached, the reactor is said to be critical. If we want to reduce the power of the reactor, in other words, reduce the number of fissions per second, then we lower the control rods. These are made of a material that absorbs neutrons, for example, boron. These stop the nuclei near the top of the fuel rods taking part in the chain reaction. If we lower them all the way down, then we can shut down the reactor and the fission reactions stop.